Hi Starseeds and welcome to your weekly message. This is being recorded the second week of February 2020 and this week we are going to look at your past life energy whether that's past life here on the earth plane or otherwise and you know the energies that come through are a life that you've experienced or this is the light that was coded within your consciousness as you incarnated as well as the um, coding in the DNA from the bloodline in which you incarnated and you know that light energy those light codes as well as the um, you know DNA codes the formation of the two of those you never had that specific past life experience but you need that information for this life journey so it's been encoded within you okay so this is either an experience you've had or this is coding that you've received for your mission this lifetime so let's start out by pulling a couple of um the phoenix past life cards and get the primary energies that want to come through for all of you guys i could shuffle So just take a look at that image for a minute and see, you know, what does that mean to you? Because this is, um, and this is about a location as well. So just see what you're feeling as you look at that before I jump right in and tell you what it is. This right here is actually the Hawaiian goddess. So past life on the earth plane living in Hawaii or if this is in another space time realm dimension this would have been an incarnation that was very much connected with the nature the ecosystem the planet in which you were you know inhabiting at that particular time for that life so those of you um, you know that are going to be very much resonating with this video right here that's why you have such a love profound love and connection to you know animals some specific animals nature um, and some of you may even be very sensitive to earth changes like when an earthquake's about to happen or a crazy tornado like you pick up on all of those energies okay because there's always the energetic print of something before it manifests in physical reality you know so you guys pick up on that with this card and it has everything to do with past life energy or you've been um encoded you know with through your bloodline and i forgive me i don't know um i just know hawaiian i don't know the specific name of the different you know people i don't know hardly anything about the hawaiian culture so i'm not going to speak as though i do um i would just highly recommend that you guys really start digging into the hawaiian culture and you know look at pictures of the different hawaiian I islands and see what emotions invoke inside of you and um you know just really dig into that energy because there's something there for you but many of you um, previous incarnation here you uh, were born Hawaiian or you were born in the Hawaiian Islands very very spiritual energy there highly spiritual energy there okay that would make sense or um, potentially this lifetime you were born into a Hawaiian family and it's because you need you know those uh, codes those dna codes through the bloodline all right and it could be like a full hawaiian family or there could be like a, somebody married in to a different um you know race and there's that hawaiian blood that runs through that family you know even if it's very scarce it's still there so big big uh focus on that and then again if this is not um, been encoded within you or you haven't specifically lived a life here on the earth plane you know in Hawaii a strong connection to the Hawaii Islands this has to do with a different planet you know in a different space potentially a different dimension where as you see what's depicted here the uh, inhabitants of this world very much in alignment with nature if there's no um, you know buildings and skyscrapers and technology it's the uh, magic 
the true magic, you know, um, when you talk about like witchcraft and all kinds of different things, sorcery, wizards, there's so many different elements and beliefs behind magic and what to do. And, and you know, it goes across the board in many different belief systems, okay? But this is like that, that true magic of connection with like all is one while we're physically embodied and so you've experienced that all right okay next card out is this here so just take a look and see what that represents for you This right here is the Elizabeth Dancer, and this is a location of England. So some of you have English blood in you this lifetime. Some of you were actually born into this earth plane, incarnated uh, in England, or um, this one, this one I don't feel is like another off world somewhere. This is either you've been encoded with this or you specifically lived this life in England. So with the, the uh, dancer here, you know, it's, um, how do I explain this? This is a teacher. This is a, a leader, somebody who's very strong, who's very powerful, may look very, uh, you know, incapable, small, weak, um, not strong, but that's not the truth like looks can be deceiving this is a teacher so you are meant to lead you have taught in the past whether that's teaching on like spirituality or that could be a literal teacher in a school or a professor okay that's in your akashic record again whether you actually lived that or it was encoded within you for this life journey some of you may be teachers this life journey in schools and that's because your energy your vibration whether you, um, you're not sharing your beliefs and your spirituality with your students, but your energy is naturally activating to every student that will cross your path, okay? So you're doing your work. Others of you, this is being a spiritual teacher, um, you know, a, about all sorts of different uh, matters when it comes to spirituality and belief and, you know, what it's really all about. So you have that within you for sure. Now let's pull... A couple more past life cards and add more to this. All right, so we have the mother coming out, and we have um, leaving or travel. All right, so with this mother energy um, for talking about past life, this says a lot. Um, you know, this to me is goes back to this teacher energy, that strong figure. And it doesn't have to be that you were a, you know, female or, you know, it, it doesn't have to be that. This is an energy within your soul, a nurturing, a tenderness, a compassion, all right, where there's a true desire um, for all people to like know the truth, to feel love, to be happy, to know joy, to be taught, and you know, right from wrong, to be evolved and expanded in such a beautiful way. So you've had this role, the role you're playing this lifetime, where you are like a teacher, or you're the glue that holds, um, you know, everything together, whether in the family, in the workplace, um, for your friends, you are a very strong energy, and you've played this role role, um, I feel like many lifetimes in this plane as well as in others, all right? And we're not even looking at your home frequencies, your existence in that space. Like we're looking at your work, the missions that you uh, have been doing, you know, through, it's hard to say, I don't want to say throughout the existence of your soul because we're infinite, but um, you've been, you've been at this for a while, like going to other worlds 
and you know bringing forth light coats to help with evolution and activation of different species and you guys absolutely have dreams about this stuff you know you probably have these really crazy dreams and I'll tell you what before um, I fully awakened I used to have this idea for a story that I wanted to write and I was very Christian so that's like you know my belief system before I was activated and I just was like you know what if um, our bodies are just containers and um, our soul goes from different worlds and um, just inhabits different worlds and it's just about like you know different containers because I would just always have this vision of like this different like land and so I thought that was inspiration I was receiving to write this story no I was being activated and then uh, once I got activated and I start learning and researching I'm like that was not an original idea, but I'll tell you what, I sure thought it was at the time because I had never ever heard of that before, ever. Like, you know, being raised Christian, it's you're here for one life, you need to walk this really tight line. If not, you go downstairs and those who give themselves to Jesus Christ, they go upstairs when they pass on and that's it and it's eternal heaven. Like that was truly my belief system before I was activated. So you can imagine how that was so profound to me to think of the different containers and that popping into my head for your guys' reading, that's you guys. Like I feel like you have had many different off-world experiences from your home base where you truly, your consciousness stream truly emanates from, okay? So you guys are, I feel like this mission here with Earth, even though when you're here and you're living this life, it feels so big and it's like, I, I've got to do my part and, you know, there's just all this information everywhere. It feels so big. This is just one little dance in this, you know, one little dance step in a full dance that you've been working on for lifetimes in different places, okay? Um, and most of the energies like that you work with is a very natural, organic uh, type of experiencing, type of living, type of, you know, physical manifestation. And so this lifetime, many of you might um, be vegetarian or vegan or wish that you could be. I know me personally, I wish that I could be. But every time I try, it really jacks up my body. It makes me sick. And I just feel like if I have to be on, you know, five different supplements and two shakes a day plus all this food that I can never possibly consume in a day, like, that's just, that's not the right uh, diet for me. And so those of you that, you know, have that same struggle because I look at animals as, you know, my friends, it's hard for me, but I, I just, I can't. And if you can't, you know... Um, don't feel bad about that because not everybody's physical body is made to be vegetarian or a vegan. And in fact, if you do a lot of research on studies, like a lot of vegans do struggle. It's very hard and I commend them for pushing through because, you know, sometimes it really makes me sad eating meat. It truly, truly does. And my daughter reminds me, she's like, well, mom, doesn't everything have consciousness? Isn't there studies on plants that there's a level of consciousness there? And I'm like, yes she's like you eat those without guilt and I'm like oh my gosh shut up so it gets to be like this world like how it's a, a consuming of energy world it, it truly is if you look at it and that's why the the at the top those who are truly in charge of this show it's all about energy consumption right so um for you guys you have that you are so connected in to nature to the planet um, to the true essence of the you know of each and every human being their heart space and that's from your um, you know I feel like it could be the the Hawaiian experience for some of you but for many of you this is like a, another uh, land another place like that we don't talk about or Oh, okay. I now spirit's pulling me away from the the direct meaning of this card. Um, this Lemuria. I didn't even think about that. Um, you know, and and I'm not talking about Atlantis. Like Lemuria is what's jumping out at me with this. So many of you will resonate with that. Um, and because of that energy, very mothering, very protective, whether you are male or female. You know, and and seeing like every human, regardless of age, as it as 
the child they are, you know, here learning, growing, expanding, and just having a profound sense of sadness at the state of the world and the confusion that's constantly thrown in our faces, you know, and you guys are just, wow, it's something special like the Mother Earth Gaia energy, really, and that's like not, that's the best I can um, articulate to express the depth of what I feel about these pairing right here. And then you also being the teacher, the leader, bringing knowledge, bringing light, activating, awakening, learn, leaving and travel. Like that to me um, for past life is some of you may have been like a prophet of some kind. Okay. Um, you know, way, way, way back in human history. Um, but also that leaving and travel is a confirmation more of how it's like multiple different worlds of co that are coming through in this reading, okay? Multiple different worlds that you've experienced and you've traveled and you've explored and there is so much in your Akashic record um, and, and a lot of it you're not activated to. A lot of us aren't, you know? It's like what's most important for this life journey is what's in full force when you incarnate and, you know, different experiences that happen throughout the journey activate different parts of you. So um, that to me is just a very strong confirmation of that, that you, um, you know, it's like traveling in like multiple different worlds, being this, the leader, the teacher, very connected in with nature, the mother, the nurturer. All right, let's pull some cards about those off worlds, those hidden worlds. Okay, so the Aurora Garden, beginning, initiate, origin. Ooh, you guys, okay. Um, <laughs> some of you have experienced life as not a fully physically manifested being. And I'm sure like you're pretty familiar with that, you know, um, where there's other worlds that it's not full physicality like it is here in the earth plane. And um, you guys have done a lot of work in those worlds. And that, that to me feels more like training. I mean, because it says beginning, initiate, initiate origin. So from your home frequency, like you guys haven't been home in a very, very long time like ages eons you have not been home like you are the like galactic travelers um and it's uh like think of somebody traveling the world in this lifetime okay you guys are in like this cycle of your of your soul of your consciousness where it's like you're traveling the galaxy okay to all the different realms and you uh were many lifetimes preparing for this in a land that is where there is not full physicality. It's, um, you know what just popped in my head? Um, oh, I don't remember the darn name of that movie, uh, but it's where she um, travels through space, but it's more like a wormhole and she goes to this different world. And those beings there, um, they're like almost liquid. That's like what I'm seeing in my head, but not exactly that, but um, it's like solid, but not fully physical and you that's where you guys received a lot of like your um and training is not the right word but that's the only word i know how to use um for what you are doing in these spaces it's far more intellectual it, this is not um where we're about gender or um friendships and romantic partnerships and all the things that are here in the earth plane this is a whole different uh reality that is almost unfathomable you know being in the human body that there's an existence such as this where it's it's purely like an intellectual plane a field but there is a bit of physicality to that and you guys have spent many lifetimes preparing for what you're doing now all right let's see what else we have the leap ecstasy bliss belief and look at that you guys have evolved so much through 
um, all your lifetimes, all the work you've been doing for the higher good, not just of, you know, the human collective consciousness, but for many other different worlds. And, you know, here you are at the initiate and now here you are at the top of the mountain. And this lifetime, you know, there's going to be a big leap in evolution for you. You are achieving much this lifetime, the leap. And that's why it may feel quite intense for you guys. So what a powerful um, spread to come through. I was like, I'm going to pull maybe some more of these cards, but I'm like, no, that was really good. Uh, we'll do another one of these readings, you know, in a few months to look at more past life energies. But let's uh, let's see what you've gained from all of this and like, you know, what you bring with you here in the now because of all of this. So we've got the healer, crystals, spiritual lessons, rabbit hole, protected, and quantum physics, the Mandela effect. Quantum physics and the Mandela effect, I should say. All right. Um, wow. This is quite quantum, um, all of this coming out. And that, to me, um, is talking about, again, let me move that just slightly. Um, it's like you're the galactic traveler, for real. Okay. I just got to stop trying to make them straight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Let's start here. The healer and crystals. Um, many of you, I think, would be very natural um, in doing Reiki, crystal Reiki even. So energy healing, Reiki, crystal Reiki, you are gifted. You've learned that um, skill in the past lifetime, okay? And so if you um, have never really looked into that, you might want to start looking into that. It's like you will be a natural. You've gained that experience like way back. It's a part of you. And the more um, you focus on it, it activates inside of you and you will be a profound energy healer. Okay. Um, for others of you, you know, get into crystals. If you're not already into crystals, you find out which crystals you really connect with. It will help balance your energy. Um, you know, and everybody's relationship with crystals is different. Uh, I, I personally feel that there is energy around them. Um, I use this right here, my meteorite, um, when I'm doing your guys' reading. And the first time I ever touched that, I swore to you, I could feel like different energy that is not here with me. So there's energy connected to them. Um, if you haven't looked into, you know, opening yourself up to these energies, the healer, Reiki, and crystals, you know, do so because you'll be a natural at it. You'll just quickly understand things. Um, also with the healer, that doesn't just have to be, you know, a rachius. This could be um, where you are a nurse, um, you could be a midwife, you could be a doctor, um, you could be a CNA, you could uh, be somebody who comes in and just, you know, helps people with their day to day, um, your energy, very healing. You could be a psychiatrist, okay, a therapist. Um, and, and if you guys haven't like, you know, pursued a career in those paths, um, some of you, it's like your friends, that glue of like, you really keep it together back to this mother energy, very healing, protective, nurturing, and wise, all right? That is you guys all day long, and it comes from this past life, um, especially here in the Aurora Garden. And now spiritual lessons. Um, 
you know, here, this is just, again, talking about everything that you've obtained and earned from these past life experiences that you bring with you in to the earth plane. And you will help many people move through their own spiritual lessons this lifetime based on your wisdom and knowledge and the healing energy that is just naturally you. Now, the rabbit hole. Um, this is talking about... In this lifetime at some point on your journey you know obviously all of you have already started down the rabbit hole but this is saying that there is going to be over the course of 2020 um, you're gonna have an awakening that is gonna kind of rattle you a bit and I can tell you guys I am going through that right now I mentioned it um, in videos before well did I, I might have said it in Aries and not you guys I think I said it in you guys as well but oh man disillusionment is hard and i'm not talking about disillusionment of like personal relationships it's the like world at large what i'm really seeing the truth behind things and just like oh spirit i oh like it's it's a bit it, it takes some adjusting and you guys are there like you're gonna really um, have big expansions and awakenings this year um you know because energy is changing and um, you need to be awakened and activated at appropriate times. And so know that that's coming. But no matter what information you come into, you are protected. You are meant to know and understand all of this, okay? Everything that comes your way, it's like you're meant to know that, to activate you, to expand you, to help you better understand your purpose here for this lifetime. You are very protected. Now, quantum physics and the Mandela effect those um, two topics there if you haven't um, done research it's time for you to really dig in and dive in deep both of them um, there's obviously going to be activations that happen as you explore and you dig but uh, your team is coming in and saying many answers are found there which has a lot to do with this rabbit hole and what you're going to discover and just your perception is going to totally shift but you are very much protected. Don't forget that. All right. So let's pull some tarot and uh, further clarify these. Strength. And that comes out under the healer. So that's just talking about how incredibly powerful you are in whichever way you use your energy to heal others. Under the crystals, we have temperance. Yeah, you'll benefit with some crystal therapy, some crystal Reiki. I didn't mention that. Um, if many of you will benefit highly by getting Reiki. And um, you can also listen to meditations on YouTube to help balance your chakras. You could put the appropriate crystals on each chakra as you do those meditations but um, crystals and Reiki meditation will really help balance your energy spiritual lessons we have the five of wands so yeah you've been through the fire you have learned and gained quite a bit and they everything like I just man I feel like you're gonna be a different person by the end of this year just because of everything that's activating within you and and everything your consciousness is going to um, you know grab a hold of and, and finally understand now we have the five of cups under the rabbit hole so um, this to me is telling me that for many of you some of this activation and understanding and awareness is going to cause you a lot of heartache and pain just as it has done me and you know what it's just part of the process disillusionment sucks but it has to be so down the rabbit hole it may bring some sadness but it is absolutely a part of your journey and you shouldn't push away from it or push against it it's like you need to know that you need to understand the information that you're coming into it's part of your journey and, and why you're here and you know obviously you're being made aware because there's something about you that can help facilitate change of what you're discovering okay next is the two of wands under protected and um you know this to me is just really what i see here is like this crystal ball representing like your collective 
and like how you are always protected by them like under all circumstances no matter what even um, if you don't always think so you are and you can ask them you know show me give me a sign that you are here with me that I am being protected and lastly look at that the high priestess that's coming out under the quantum physics and Mandela effect the high priestess she's the garter of the great secrets right she sits in front of the veil it's time for you to see beyond the veil it's time for you to know the truth and so here you go she's coming out under the um, you know quantum physics and the Mandela effect so you guys are gonna receive a lot of activations um, through that discovery, that research, going down that rabbit hole. Even if you dug into that a little bit, it's time to say, okay, Spirit, show me. What is it that I need to know now? And um, it's like a lot's going to come to you. You're going to come into a lot of truth. All right, let's pull a few more cards. karmic relationships, Orion energy, polarity, soul growth, conflict. Now, uh, this doesn't feel like karmic relationships for you in this earth plane. To me, this is talking more about you being this galactic traveler, okay? And you've made a lot of strong positive connections and that's also where this protection comes in to play because whether they are here with you or not you're always energetically connected so there is a lot of energies that, that support you and send energy and vibes to you from many different worlds with this and that's what this karmic relationships means to me for you guys next is all paths lead home inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. And this here is just you on your journey, all the different places you've been and seen and experienced. And it's just all part of what's meant for you, this cycle of you, you know, and here it is. And all paths, you know, lead you back to home. But I swear, like you guys haven't been home in a long time. You are traveling the universe and lastly empathic star seed and we already saw that right from the get um, energetic sovereignty absorbing what's not yours now this card coming out is just another confirmation of how powerful this energy is of you being very connected into the planet and all that inhabit her all right, but with that, it's very important for you to work with crystals and do meditation and Reiki because you do absorb many energies that don't belong to you, like wanting to take on everybody's problems and solve them for them, wanting to heal, wanting to give to a fault, like all those things just because you fill everything in your heart, like the whole world exists inside your heart space and you could never turn away from it if you tried, all right? And you've mastered this level of empathy through many lifetimes, okay? That's why um, on this plane, there are some people who are incredibly narcissistic, there are in-betweens, there are empaths, and then there are advanced, incredibly sensitive empaths. The advanced, incredibly sensitive empaths, they've earned that. They've worked on that many, many lifetimes and have emotionally evolved through, oh, you just don't even know, so disciplined um, living lives. You know, if you want to look at the earth plane like as a monk or a nun, but you've got to remember, this is all over you know the entire universe where this has been achieved and gained so um, that's why you're made the way you are it's not that um, you know you're made wrong or that you shouldn't be it's actually an honor a gift that you've developed within yourself to be able to feel everyone and everything to the extent in which you do so honor that part of you even though it's a bit heavy and intense at times honor that part of you because you've earned it all right let's pull some advice channel you are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world there's confirmation we know you're the healer 
Gaia <laughs> connect to the pulse of Mother Earth that she will guide you through this time of change so Mother Earth coming in as uh, one of these karmic relationships her consciousness wanting to help you and support you and keep you grounded as you go down the rabbit hole even further so make sure um, that you're doing some full grounding meditations as well and now we have a blue flame connect to the blue flame which is the light of pure love within you and that goes back to this empathic star seed you know the and also the frequency higher frequency of love energies from your home where you um, emanate from right there blue flame love all around you and we got this blue heart the blue um, ball and then all this blue here so um, yeah you you're something special the love that exists inside of you is sacred and the healer that you are, the nurturer, the guider, the protector, you, wow, I mean, and you've worked on it, you have worked on it and all of that energy, everything you are is here to help you, to inspire other people to attach to your energy and be more like you uh, to themselves as well as to others, okay? So those are your messages for this week. I am wishing you all the best. Take care.